Originals. Découvrez en avant-première nos interviews sur les séries qui font l'actu. Beta Série, partenaire média du Festival des séries TV de Berlin 2021. Bienvenue pour un numéro spécial de Originals dédié au Festival des séries de Berlin 2021 dont nous sommes partenaires du 23 au 26 septembre. Nous avons l'honneur d'interviewer aujourd'hui Adriana Ugarte, l'actrice principale de la série espagnole Parrot en compétition officielle. Adriana est une star de la télévision et du cinéma en Espagne. Elle a eu notamment le premier rôle de la série L'espionne de Tanger qui a battu tous les records d'audience en Espagne en 2014. Nous l'avons découverte en France dans Julieta de Pedro Almodovar et dans Amoureux de ma femme, de Daniel Auteuil, aux côtés de Gérard Depardieu. Adriana, thank you so much to be with us today. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. So, uh, la série um, uh, Parrot est un thriller policier en 10 épisodes, créé par Pilar Nadal pour Amazon Prime Video et la télévision nationale espagnole TVE. Elle est déjà disponible en Espagne uh, depuis mai 2021, et nous l'attendons avec impatience en France et en Allemagne. So, Adriana... What is Parrot about? Um, I think um, Parrot is about uh, real people. Um, I think it's about, um, in my case, it's about a woman who tries to overcome the trauma um, left by a sexual abuse. And, and she, she tries to do it in, through absolute dedication to her professional life. So um, her real life, it's a, it's a real disaster because she's full of anxiety every day and she's completely disconnected with her own self. So it's very sad when, when I create the character, um, I, um, I, I try to, to create at the same time different parts like a social and professional phase and the, um, the phase um, he uses in her in her privacy and in her privacy in she's a real mess and she doesn't know how to manage um yeah like you know, easy things like family, well, it's not very easy, but... No, relation with the daughter, especially, I saw the first yeah, episode, it's very, and it's a tense like, relation. Yeah, the relation between mother and Isabel and her daughter, like three generations, it's very, it's very special and it's very subtle. And I think she's always trying to, to live and trying to, to be a normal person because she thinks that a normal pe person exists, but it's not true. But she needs to, to work with different concepts. Mm. And it's, it's, true that, more it's true that uh, you have a journey as a character in the series, but also the fiction takes place uh, a few years ago in Spain after a real, uh, uh, a real uh, event, a legal event, the annulment of a uh, Parrot doctrine that is reducing yeah. terms of imprisonment of uh, many, in fact, inmates. And in the show, you are a cop and you investigate uh, mm -hmm. about murders on these people released from the prison. So it's very dark. Uh, you're quite used to uh, playing characters in romantic drama. Here it's pretty tough, pretty dark. Is it something that you were uh, uh, tired? I mean, to, to do a, a role like this one, to change a bit or? Or is it something you? Um, well, actually, I'm used to to do drama and mm. very hard stories, and um, yeah, I always relate with characters that suffer a lot. So, okay. but, but it's true, it's hard because um, she's not happy, never, and she can't breathe and she can't leave and she can't smile. So when, when you work with these things every day, then after six weeks, maybe, you, you start to feel exhausted. So yeah, it's hard, it's a pleasure and I love my job and it's a pleasure, but at the same time, 
um, sometimes you you need to work with uh, your dark sides and and your sometimes with your own wounds. So your wounds are like sleeping, and you sometimes need to knock at the door and mm. yeah not it's not easy but it be quite an experience yeah it's... yeah but it's very interesting and i think I, I really like the project i like because i think um like it promotes the dialogue and 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 you can think and everybody can think about um, the relation between ethics and justice and normally um, they doesn't work at the same time. So um, I think it's an opportunity to think about it. If a um, criminal can change and, and if, if he or she deserves a new life and a life and the freedom, and if there is um, an opportunity to, to heal his yeah. own self, and it's, it's, a, a, it's a debate, very it's complex. Right. Um, yeah. Without spoiling, law is not always synonymous with justice, especially in this series. And if I understand you have studied philosophy, what do you think of the ethics that are explored in Parrot? There are some ethics, as you say, between justice, what is good, what is bad, should we forgive, you know? It's, it's very complicated, but... I think there is there is one thing that I that I like of the series um, is that they are different opinions, like point points of view that um, that coexist, and I think it's like real life. Mm. So that's why I told you before that I think it's a it, it's a series about real life because. Uh, the series is not telling us what you what you should think about. You you can you can choose this character. You can choose this character. You can choose this point of view. And I think sometimes the low low works well, mm. and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. So makes a lot of sense. If we switch a bit more, we enlarge to your career and and this series in the middle of it. For the French audience, you're, you're well known thanks to famous movies, uh, as I said, Julieta or Amoureux de ma femme. Uh, as an actress, I mean, you've been on movies and on TV series, and you go in depth on the characters in TV series. Do you, would you say that there is a, a clear frontier between acting for cinema or TV, or is the frontier thinner than, uh, than, uh, than what we would think of? Mm. Before, maybe like three years ago or two years ago, yeah, maybe yeah or yeah. Before COVID, I I will tell you that there is a difference between cinema and and TV and mm -hmm. the way of working. It's different, but now no, it doesn't it, it doesn't exist like a distance between between them. My my way of working is the same. I, I work with with my feelings, mm -hmm. with my ideas, with people that help me and that support me. And um, unfortunately, we have no time to do cinema. So the the time is the same. We run and we run and we run mm -hmm. and we have maybe just three or four weeks to to make a film and it's crazy because before you yeah you, you have time to tell a story and there was something like romantic in cinema but but right now it, it has changed a little bit and mm. everything has become like more project and just project just it's true that uh, you worked for 
for movies, uh, and but uh, also for uh, TV, local TVs like Antenna Tres or Telecinco, and now more and more for OTT platforms because Parrot is on Prime, even if it will be also released on TVE. And you play Elena in uh, Ashe. Uh, shortly, we'll see you in Tribes of Europe on Netflix. So is this also maybe a difference brought by platform being more international, big projects? Do you think differently mm -hmm. when you are in such big, you know, you know mm -hmm. Actually, I, I don't, I don't, I don't find any any difference between like private and and platforms for international. Like, no, I think if if I talk about the way of working, the work, I think it's the same. But um, yeah, but platforms are, I think, are a very good thing. I think it's a miracle because we can work a lot and we can we can tell our stories to to an international the world <laughs> world <laughs> yeah almost the planet so yeah it's a very yeah to, to be i think it's a good thing to to feel you you, you can be connected yeah. with people yeah. i think i think it's yeah the, the the thing that that i like the most of platforms you know to the idea to be yeah that you can be connected and you can yeah you can see maybe things that you you have never dreamed that you that you could so and and you can you can be seen by other people so it's yeah, yeah it's uh, I mean, a lot of gratitude it's, yeah yeah you know you can be seen all over the world and uh, and that's a very challenging but also a big opportunity Speaking about the creativity and that uh, is brought by all these moves, in the official selection at the Berlin TV Series Festival, you have a series from Spain, uh, Belgium, Bulgaria, Germany, of course. And mm -hmm. you can notice an increasing interest for these European TV shows all over the world. Are you yourself a big consumer of European content that is not American, British, or not Spanish, other series? Mm, most of all, um, I, I, I'm not gonna give you a very <laughs> satisfying answer, but mm, normally I I don't have much time, and and when when I have time, I go to to the cinema because yeah. I, I because I love it. I love it, and mm, no, I, I don't consume series. N not a lot. Not a lot. Sorry. <laughs> okay, but uh, I mean, it's it's a way to preserve you from other stories and to be more into your own, you know, your own uh, uh, roles. So it's uh, it's it's very uh, interesting also to be a little bit preserved and out of it. Um, do you have a, a, a favorite movie then to 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 tell us to advise us or one that is particularly inspiring for us? Yeah, um, Nomadland. That's a good one, yeah. Okay, yeah. and also in beta series we cover movies, and this one is a, is a big uh, is a big hit. Um, okay, thank you so much. Uh, I think it has been short, but uh, uh, very uh, interesting. We wish the best for Parrot at the film <laughs> festival. Maybe before we leave, on which new project are you currently in? Are you on a TV series or a, on a movie these days? Um, I I just uh, finished a movie in February. Okay. And and now I'm finishing a TV series. Okay. Is it uh, known? I mean, do we know already the TV series or is it a secret? Yeah. No, it's not a secret. Um, it is called Heridas. Okay. And it's an adaptation of a um, Japanese production called Mother. Okay. Hmm. So it may be... And who is... I mean, it will be on which platform, or do you know already? Or um, for the moment, is just for Atres Media okay. player. Yeah, you know, player, and maybe I don't know, but maybe later, some platform is going to be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I hope. Atres Media has got a very good distribution in Spain. Also, we have. Yeah. A audience in Spain and the Spanish yeah. version of beta series so we'll cover that so thank you so much uh, Adriana all the best thank again you. for Parrot thank uh, you 
Thank you. We look forward to welcome you soon on Beta Serial Radio, maybe for your next series. And uh, I switch back to French. Nous tenons à remercier également Viacom CBS et le Festival de Série de Berlin pour avoir organisé cette interview. N'oubliez pas d'ajouter Parrot dans vos annales à Beta Série pour être notifié à sa sortie et n'en rater aucun épisode. Et à très bientôt sur Beta Série La Radio pour une prochaine émission Originals. Merci encore beaucoup, Adriana. À très bientôt. Merci bien. Au revoir. Au revoir. Originals, découvrez en avant-première nos interviews sur les séries qui font l'actu. Beta Série, partenaire média du Festival des séries TV de Berlin 2021.